Inflation is a fact of life, especially if you're a business owner. Normalized inflation is about 2%. Now look, here's the thing. Inflation is way more than 2% right now. Have you seen what's happened to property prices? Have you bought any building materials recently and thought, oh my God, that's really expensive? It was just the other day I was saying to a friend of mine, I said, it won't be long until a latte is five pounds to take away at your local Costa coffee store. It's when they turned around and said, have you been to London recently? It already is. I also noticed a story the other day in Stoke-on-Trent, which is no London, where a whippy ice cream is being sold by an ice cream van man in an ice cream van for five pounds for a whippy ice cream. Just so you can remind yourself on what one of those looks like, this is it, can you believe it? This is inflation happening in ways like you've never known before because of the close down of our economy for 18 months and a number of other reasons. So how do we deal with that as business owners? How do we accurately put our prices up without losing all of our customers? Because that's what we worry about as business owners. Well, in this video, I'm going to give you my top tips on how you can raise your prices and keep your customers. Let's get into it. This video is sponsored by Capt on Tap. It's a business credit card system that I use to help grow my business. And you can potentially get access to £100,000 to help grow your business. And I'll tell you more about it in this video. Let's go. Now, how can we stop prices going up in your business and how can you make more money and become sexier? Well, it's obvious. You subscribe to the James Sinclair YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> It gets better than that, gang, because if you want to be more successful in life and be slimmer and fitter, then make sure you massage the like button. It's scientifically proven that people that like my videos become more successful. Guys, I want to give you some real facts here on things that I've been noticing in my businesses. And I'm going to actually bring up live invoices on screen. Actually, let me give you some context, right? We import stuff from the Far East. We make teddy bears, things like this, right? We've actually made over a million teddy bears. So this is a real live business that we've been running for over half a decade now. Right now, I'm popping up on screen an invoice value amount. And you'll see here that I was paying freight of £1,733.42. And there's some other gump. So this is the price it costs for me to bring in a 40-foot container from the Far East. Those of you that don't know what that looks like, that's this. £2,318.42 is what it cost me to get that into my warehouse here in the glorious county of Essex. You'll see at the top that that was February 2019. So that's just before the world started going belly up. This is a quote for now. Now, I just want to clear this for you. £2,318.42, February 2019. This is a quote for right now, £23,540.19 to bring a container carrying the same products into the United Kingdom. That's 10 times more. I mean, it's balmy. Have you seen what's happened to property prices? You don't have to go far to just type that into Google to see what's happening to property prices. The fastest ever increase since I can remember. You're just seeing stuff on YouTube thinking, a million pounds for that house? It's got neighbors. Whereas <laughs> five years ago, you'd buy a million pound house, you'd have no neighbors. It's just gone completely out of control. Minimum wage has increased. Building materials, literally unbelievable. What about one of those things? The back bone of Britain, a full transit van. I mean, you know, we know what a full transit van is. Wouldn't try and buy one of those right now. Go on, try and buy one of those. You get put on a waiting list. This isn't a Ferrari. Usually, you have to go on a waiting list to buy a Ferrari or a Rolls Royce. But now, if you want to buy a Ford bleeding transit, you have to wait because the still things are shut down. Other countries have still got massive problems with the, the C word, the P word, the ends in endemic. Can't say it on YouTube because they don't like it. Those, those problems are causing supply chain issues. There's another problem as well. Rossi ice cream. This is a big thing. We own Rossi ice cream. We buy loads of ingredients from a company up in the Midlands and it comes in on a lorry and we buy it by the pallet load. Here's the problem. They said we can only order two pallets at a time. We only order two pallets at a time. Usually we're having 10 pallets come in. The haulier has said they haven't got any agency staff because the agency staff are still on furlough. The agency staff like being on furlough, i.e. getting paid to do nothing. And why would they come off of that? I understand it. So they've got no pool of agency staff. So now they can't deliver stuff to me more than two pallets. So what happens? That becomes supply and demand. The cost of the product goes up. Or the other option is I've got to buy a lorry just to go and get my stuff. Otherwise I can't make ice 
ice cream to sell. What happens? Everything starts going up. Have you tried buying cardboard recently? I was buying cardboard boxes for 23p. Now I've got to pay a pound for them. In a year, in a year, I paid 23p and now I've got to pay a pound. This is all going to start really affecting consumers. And the other thing is people, because they've been locked up for a year and a half, have got more cash than they've ever had in their personal bank accounts. They can't go on holiday right now. So they've been buying secondhand cars. The price of secondhand cars are going through the roof. They've had it like gangbusters. And so all of this cash is just piling onto the UK economy. And there's these other people called governments that have been printing money faster than it can literally go out of fashion. Have you seen what old Biden's up to in America? Just literally printing billions and billions of dollars. So more and more cash is flushing into the system. We've got another thing as well. You've got Chancellor Rishi Sunak who's done this uh, incentive on your, if you buy new equipment and lease it, you can get all this stuff that reduces your corporation tax bill. So people are going to go out and spend more stuff. Great stuff the government are doing, incentivizing people to put money back into the economy, but it's just causing everything to rise. But it's raw materials as well that are really costing more money, like because of the price of oils going up and commodities are going up. And I <laughs> see in a whippy ice cream being sold for five quid. I, I, I just put a picture of the story up here next to me. This is just unbelievable. A whippy ice cream man. He's got no staff and he's sitting in his van. So he can't say, oh, my business rates have gone out of control. My rent's gone out of control. This bloke's operating from an ice cream van and he's selling an ice cream for five quid. Now, good luck to him. It's a reduced season. People are still paying it. But what happens is when one person does that, it's the start of normalization. When someone's prepared to pay £23,000 to get a container in from China, that is the start of normalization. Now, everyone's been saying to me, oh, the price will go down. Not so, because they put it up to 12000 It's now 23000 So it hasn't gone down, it's gone up. So even if it meets back in the middle and it's down now, the middle would be sort of ten and a half, eleven thousand pounds pounds, but it still was £1,200. Can you see this is how it's going to really affect? So what does it mean for your business? Now, I'll put some notes on here. Right, guys, we're talking about inflation, but now let's just quickly talk about funding. Now, one of the businesses that I use to help fund my business is Capital on Tap. It's a business credit card service where you get up to 56 days interest-free money, and you can have a credit card for each one of your employees and control their spending limits. And you see it beautifully through the app on your smartphone, links into Zero and QuickBooks and all that wonderful stuff. There's no foreign exchange or ATM charges if you use the business, but if you get the super duper reward cards, which cost you about £99 to get, you can help yourself to Avios points or 1% cash back. And if you apply, it doesn't affect your personal credit score and you want to protect your personal credit score. So I've got it for my employees. We use it all the time. Help yourself to 56 days worth of interest-free money. What's not to like about it? And I'm using it personally. Now, whilst they are paying me for this paid promotion, I do think it's a fantastic service for your business. And I've got a link in the video description, which will get you £100 if you're successful, which will pay for your rewards card. So click the link in the video description if you want to help yourself to up to £100,000 worth of funding with 56 days interest-free credit. If you don't know how to click on the video link description, then just drop me an email to info at jamessinclair.net and we'll send you a link on how you can get that business reward card and £100 worth of free money simply by applying. Why wouldn't you do that? Let's get back to inflation. How are you going to increase your prices? You've got to increase your prices. You know, I'm having chats with my team. Like, no one's going to buy our ice cream anymore if we put our prices up. Everyone's going to stop coming to Marsh Farm and our play centres and our day nurseries if I put the prices up. Minimum wage has gone up as well. So there's loads of things going up, right? Everyone's got to do it. Otherwise, you're just going to become professionally turning money. And there's no point being in business just to professionally turn money. Zero. Zero. We don't want to be doing that. So who are the people that are going to be able to put their prices up easier. People that offer a great service. Honesty as to why this is happening. You know, I'm putting this video out today. I've honestly told you this is what's happening to freight prices. This is what's happening to carpool prices. We've got to put our prices up just to stay at zero. Our sand art business, unbelievable. We just bought this sand art business and the prices have tripled for us to buy the materials from the Far East and Turkey. We get them. It's gone up three times. We've got to pass that on. At least charge three times more just to be staying on the same margin really, really worrying. I know lots of business owners are thinking about this. You've got to be honest with your, your customers and say, look, this is happening. My top tip of advice to say this is tell them now and give them three months notice wherever you can do that. Say in three months time, the prices are going up because of X, Y, and Z. Be really open and frank with them rather than just putting the prices up 
the next day. I mean, obviously, if you're in the meat markets and the commodity markets, you can't wait three months. But if you can give your customers three months advance notice, I always think that's a better way to do it. Or there's other ways that you can save on transport costs. Now, Rossi Ice Cream, for example, we have a minimum £60 order value. And transport's really expensive. Could you say to your customers, look, it costs us to deliver product to you. So could you order bigger and not not as often? So rather than ordering £60 a week, could you double up and do £150 a week order every fortnight? And that's going to save on your transport costs, save on your outgoing costs. Is there anything that you can do like that? What I really wanted to get through on this video is do not try and swallow the cost yourself. You will just end up going bust. When things are going like ones and two percents, maybe you think, well, the lifetime value of the customer is really good. But when you're seeing stuff like 10 times more, 30, 40, 50% increases. You've just got to put your prices up and don't be into that folly mindset of, oh, we'll just absorb it because we're scared of losing that customer. Sometimes it's cheaper to lose a customer rather than just turn money. And, and I, people forget when you're managing cash, that costs money. You know, if you're turning a million pounds, 100 million pounds to look after that cash flow, run all the accountants, you need people to look after it. It costs money to manage turnover and you just don't want to be turning money for the sake of turning money. So let's just wrap this up. You've got to put your prices up. Be honest and open with your customers. Write to them three months in advance of you doing it and tell them why so they know it's coming. If you offer a great service, you will find that most people won't just leave you at a whim. And if they do leave you at a whim, there's 65 million people in the UK, there's 7 billion people in the world. There's always more customers. And that's why if you want to be successful in business, you need to spend more time in the sales and marketing department rather than the operating department. And that's me. I'm James Sinclair. I'll see you in the next video.